When I came out, I had to, I guess, grieve. I didn't think of it as that. There was some giving up of things. As a black gay man, you know, growing up in society, I've just always felt that I want to be respected and I want to be treated equally. I knew what people thought I was. I knew how I felt. I didn't have any term for that. All I could do was try to explain people my own emotions and how I perceived the world and how I wanted to, the world to perceive me. We went to the 1979 March on Washington. We talked about sexism and homophobia and racism. Ageism is something I haven't quite wrapped my head around. Gertrude Stein said, you're always the same age inside. I just don't climb trees anymore. We created this Project Visibility documentary to showcase the lives of, of local rainbow elders so that then we can provide the services that will help create you know, an environment where people feel included, where people belong. These are the most vulnerable moments of someone's life and it's very, very scary to trust someone to care for you uh, on that personal level. The farther we spread the information about project visibility, the better it is for folks who are in assisted living, folks who are aging. We all know the stories about somebody having to go into an assisted living facility and they go back in the closet. I hear all the time, you're welcome. So it doesn't mean anything. And I don't want to be accepted. I want to be celebrated. And that's what I look for, is a place where people are going to celebrate who I am.